Staining is an auxiliary technique used in microscopy to enhance contrast in the microscopic image. Stains and dyes are frequently used in biology and medicine to highlight structures in biological tissues for viewing, often with the aid of different microscopes. Stains may be used to define and examine bulk tissues highlighting, for example, muscle fibers or connective tissue, cell populations classifying different blood cells, for instance, or organelles within individual cells. In biochemistry it involves adding a class-specific DNA, proteins, lipids, carbohydrates dye to a substrate to qualify or quantify the presence of a specific compound. Staining and fluorescent tagging can serve similar purposes. Biological staining is also used to mark cells in flow cytometry, and to flag proteins or nucleic acids in gel electrophoresis. Simple staining is staining with only one stain, dye. There are various kinds of multiple staining, many of which are examples of counterstaining, differential staining, or both, including double staining and triple staining. Staining is not limited to biological materials, it can also be used to study the morphology of other materials for example the lamellar structures of semi-crystalline polymers or the domain structures of block copolymers. Topic. In vivo versus in vitro In vivo staining, also called vital staining or intravital staining, is the process of dyeing living tissues. In vivo means in life. Compare with in vitro staining. By causing certain cells or structures to take on contrasting colors, their form, morphology, or position within a cell or tissue can be readily seen and studied. The usual purpose is to reveal cytological details that might otherwise not be apparent, however, staining can also reveal where certain chemicals or specific chemical reactions are taking place within cells or tissues. In vitro staining involves coloring cells or structures that have been removed from their biological context. Certain stains are often combined to reveal more details and features than a single stain alone. Combined with specific protocols for fixation and sample preparation, scientists and physicians can use these standard techniques as consistent, repeatable diagnostic tools. A counterstain is stain that makes cells or structures more visible, when not completely visible with the principal stain. For example, crystal violet stains only gram-positive bacteria in gram staining. A safranin counterstain is applied that stains all cells, allowing identification of gram-negative bacteria, while ex vivo, many cells continue to live and metabolize until they are fixed. Some staining methods are based on this property. Those stains excluded by the living cells but taken up by the already dead cells are called vital stains e.g. trypan blue or propidium iodide for eukaryotic cells. Those that enter and stain living cells are called supravetal stains e.g. new methylene blue and brilliant cresyl blue for reticulocyte staining. However, these stains are eventually toxic to the organism, some more so than others. Partly due to their toxic interaction inside a living cell, when supravetal stains enter a living cell, they might produce a characteristic pattern of staining different from the staining of an already fixed cell e.g. reticulocyte. Look versus diffuse. Polychromasia. To achieve desired effects, the stains are used in very dilute solutions ranging from 1 to 5,000 to 1 to 500,000 Howie, 2000. Note that many stains may be used in both living and fixed cells. Topic. In vitro methods. Topic. Preparation The preparatory steps involved depend on the type of analysis planned. Some or all of the following procedures may be required. Fixation which may itself consist of several steps aims to preserve the shape of the cells or tissue involved as much as possible. Sometimes heat fixation is used to kill, adhere, and alter the specimen so it accepts stains. Most chemical fixatives chemicals causing fixation generate chemical bonds between proteins and other substances within the sample, increasing their rigidity. 
Common fixatives include formaldehyde, ethanol, methanol, and or picric acid. Pieces of tissue may be embedded in paraffin wax to increase their mechanical strength and stability and to make them easier to cut into thin slices. Permeabilization involves treatment of cells with usually a mild surfactant. This treatment dissolves cell membranes, and allows larger dye molecules into the cell's interior. Mounting usually involves attaching the samples to a glass microscope slide for observation and analysis. In some cases, cells may be grown directly on a slide. For samples of loose cells as with a blood smear or a pap smear, the sample can be directly applied to a slide. For larger pieces of tissue, thin sections slices are made using a microtome. These slices can then be mounted and inspected. Topic standardization Most of the dyes commonly used in microscopy are available as BSC certified stains. This means that samples of the manufacturer's batch have been tested by an independent body, the Biological Stain Commission BSC, and found to meet or exceed certain standards of purity, dye content and performance in staining techniques. These standards are published in the Commission's journal Biotechnic and Histochemistry. Many dyes are inconsistent in composition from one supplier to another. The use of BSC certified stains eliminates a source of unexpected results. Some vendors sell stains certified by themselves rather than by the Biological Stain Commission. Such products may or may not be suitable for diagnostic and other applications. Topic: <laughs> Negative staining. A simple staining method for bacteria that is usually successful, even when the positive staining methods detailed below fail, is to use a negative stain. This can be achieved by smearing the sample onto the slide and then applying nigrosin, a black synthetic dye, or India ink, an aqueous suspension of carbon particles. After drying, the microorganisms may be viewed in bright field microscopy as lighter inclusions well contrasted against the dark environment surrounding them. Note, negative staining is a mild technique that may not destroy the microorganisms, and is therefore unsuitable for studying pathogens. Topic. Specific techniques Topic. Gram staining Gram staining is used to determine gram status to classify bacteria broadly. It is based on the composition of their cell wall. Gram staining uses crystal violet to stain cell walls, iodine as a mordant, and a fuchsin or safranin counterstain to mark all bacteria. Gram status is important in medicine, the presence or absence of a cell wall changes the bacterium's susceptibility to some antibiotics. Gram-positive bacteria stain dark blue or violet. Their cell wall is typically rich with peptidoglycan and lacks the secondary membrane and lipopolysaccharide layer found in gram-negative bacteria. On most gram-stained preparations, gram-negative organisms appear red or pink because they are counterstained. Because of presence of higher lipid content, after alcohol treatment, the porosity of the cell wall increases, hence the CVI complex crystal violet, iodine, can pass through. Thus, the primary stain is not retained. Also, in contrast to most gram-positive bacteria, gram-negative bacteria have only a few layers of peptidoglycan and a secondary cell membrane made primarily of lipopolysaccharide. Topic. Endospore staining Endospore staining is used to identify the presence or absence of endospores, which make bacteria very difficult to kill. This is particularly useful for identifying endospore-forming bacterial pathogens such as Clostridium difficile. Zeal-Nielsen stain Zeal Nielsen staining is used to stain species of Mycobacterium tuberculosis that do not stain with the standard laboratory staining procedures such as gram staining.
The stains used are the red-colored carbyl fuchsine that stains the bacteria and a counter stain such as methylene blue. Topic hematoxylin and eosin H and E staining hematoxylin and eosin staining protocol is used frequently in histology to examine thin sections of tissue. Hematoxylin stains cell nuclei blue, while eosin stains cytoplasm, connective tissue and other extracellular substances pink or red. Eosin is strongly absorbed by red blood cells, coloring them bright red. In a skillfully made H and E preparation, the red blood cells are almost orange, and collagen and cytoplasm, especially muscle, acquire different shades of pink. When the staining is done by a machine, the subtle differences in eosinophilia are often lost. Hematoxylin stains the cell nucleus and other acidic structures, such as RNA-rich portions of the cytoplasm and the matrix of hyaline cartilage, blue. In contrast, eosin stains the cytoplasm and collagen pink. Topic: Papanicolaou staining. Papanicolaou staining or pap staining is a frequently used method for examining cell samples from various bodily secretions. It is frequently used to stain pap smear specimens. It uses a combination of hematoxylin, orange G, eosin Y, light green SF yellowish, and sometimes Bismarck brown Y. Topic. Paw staining Periodic acid shift staining is used to mark carbohydrates glycogen, glycoprotein, proteoglycans. It is used to distinguish different types of glycogen storage diseases. Topic: Masson's trichrome. Masson's trichrome is, as the name implies, a three-color staining protocol. The recipe has evolved from Masson's original technique for different specific applications, but all are well suited to distinguish cells from surrounding connective tissue. Most recipes produce red keratin and muscle fibers, blue or green staining of collagen and bone, light red or pink staining of cytoplasm, and black cell nuclei. Topic Romanowski stains The Romanowski stains are all based on a combination of eosinate chemically reduced eosin and methylene blue sometimes with its oxidation products Azure A and Azure B. Common variants include Wright stain, Jenner's stain, May Grunwald stain, Leishman stain and Giemsa stain. All are used to examine blood or bone marrow samples. They are preferred over H and E for inspection of blood cells because different types of leukocytes white blood cells can be readily distinguished. All are also suited to examination of blood to detect blood-borne parasites such as malaria. Topic. Silver staining Silver staining is the use of silver to stain histologic sections. This kind of staining is important especially to show proteins for example type 3 collagen and DNA. It is used to show both substances inside and outside cells. Silver staining is also used in temperature gradient gel electrophoresis. Some cells are argentafin. These reduce silver solution to metallic silver after formalin fixation. This method was discovered by Italian Camillo Golgi, by using a reaction between silver nitrate and potassium dichromate, thus precipitating silver chromate in some cells see Golgi's method. Other cells are argyrophilic. These reduce silver solution to metallic silver after being exposed to the stain that contains a reductant, for example hydroquinone or formalin. Topic. Sudan staining Sudan staining is the use of Sudan dyes to stain sudanophilic substances, usually lipids. Sudan 3, Sudan IV, oil red O, osmium tetroxide, and Sudan black B are often used. Sudan staining is often used to determine the level of fecal fat to diagnose stearia. Conklin's staining 
Special technique designed for staining true endospores with the use of malachite green dye. Once stained, they do not decolorize. Topic: <laughs> Common biological stains. Different stains react or concentrate in different parts of a cell or tissue, and these properties are used to advantage to reveal specific parts or areas. Some of the most common biological stains are listed below. Unless otherwise marked, all of these dyes may be used with fixed cells and tissues. Vital dyes suitable for use with living organisms are noted. Topic: Acridine orange Acridine orange is a nucleic acid selective fluorescent cationic dye useful for cell cycle determination. It is cell permeable, and interacts with DNA and RNA by intercalation or electrostatic attractions. When bound to DNA, it is very similar spectrally to fluorescein. Like fluorescein, it is also useful as a non-specific stain for backlighting conventionally stained cells on the surface of a solid sample of tissue, fluorescence backlighted staining. Topic: <laughs> Bismarck brown. Bismarck brown, also Bismarck brown Y or Manchester brown, imparts a yellow color to acid mucins. Topic. Carmen Carmen is an intensely red dye used to stain glycogen, while carmen alum is a nuclear stain. Carmen stains require the use of a mordant, usually aluminum. Topic. Kumasi blue Kumasi blue, also brilliant blue, nonspecifically stains proteins a strong blue color. It is often used in gel electrophoresis. Topic: Cressel violet. Cressel violet stains the acidic components of the neuronal cytoplasm a violet color, specifically nissl bodies. Often used in brain research. Topic. Crystal violet Crystal violet, when combined with a suitable mordant, stain cell walls purple. Crystal violet is the stain used in gram staining. Topic. DAPI DAPI is a fluorescent nuclear stain, excited by ultraviolet light and showing strong blue fluorescence when bound to DNA. DAPI binds with A equals T rich repeats of chromosomes. DAPI is also not visible with regular transmission microscopy. It may be used in living or fixed cells. DAPI stained cells are especially appropriate for cell counting. Eosin Eosin is most often used as a counterstain to hematoxylin, imparting a pink or red color to cytoplasmic material, cell membranes, and some extracellular structures. It also imparts a strong red color to red blood cells. Eosin may also be used as a counterstain in some variants of gram staining, and in many other protocols. There are actually two very closely related compounds commonly referred to as eosin. Most often used as eosin Y, also known as eosin YWS or eosin yellowish, it has a very slightly yellowish cast. The other eosin compound is eosin B, eosin bluish or imperial red, it has a very faint bluish cast. The two dyes are interchangeable, and the use of one or the other is more a matter of preference and tradition. Ethidium bromide Ethidium bromide intercalates and stains DNA, providing a fluorescent red-orange stain. 
Although it will not stain healthy cells, it can be used to identify cells that are in the final stages of apoptosis. Such cells have much more permeable membranes. Consequently, ethidium bromide is often used as a marker for apoptosis in cells populations and to locate bands of DNA in gel electrophoresis. The stain may also be used in conjunction with acridine orange in viable cell counting. This ebb ao combined stain causes live cells to fluoresce green whilst apoptotic cells retain the distinctive red-orange fluorescence. Topic: <laughs> Acid fushini. Acid fushini may be used to stain collagen, smooth muscle, or mitochondria. Acid fushini is used as the nuclear and cytoplasmic stain in Mallory's trichrome method. Acid fushini stain cytoplasm in some variants of Masson's trichrome. In Van Giesen's picro fushini, acid fushini imparts its red color to collagen fibers. Acid fushini is also a traditional stain for mitochondria Altman's method. Topic hematoxylin 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 in North America is a nuclear stain. Used with a mordant, hematoxylin stains nuclei blue-violet or brown. It is most often used with eosin in H and E hematoxylin and eosin staining, one of the most common procedures in histology. Topic. Hoaxed stains Hoaxed is a bis-benzimidazole derivative compound that binds to the minor groove of DNA. Often used in fluorescence microscopy for DNA staining, hoaxed stains appear yellow when dissolved in aqueous solutions and emit blue light under UV excitation. There are two major types of hoaxed, hoaxed 33258 and hoaxed 33342. The two compounds are functionally similar, but with a little difference in structure. Hoaxed 33258 contains a terminal hydroxyl group and is thus more soluble in aqueous solution, however this characteristics reduces its ability to penetrate the plasma membrane. Hoaxed 33342 contains an ethyl substitution on the terminal hydroxyl group i.e. an ethyl ether group making it more hydrophobic for easier plasma membrane passage. Topic. Iodine Iodine is used in chemistry as an indicator for starch. When starch is mixed with iodine in solution, an intensely dark blue color develops, representing a starch-iodine complex. Starch is a substance common to most plant cells and so a weak iodine solution will stain starch present in the cells. Iodine is one component in the staining technique known as Gram staining, used in microbiology. Used as a mordant in Gram staining, iodine enhances the entrance of the dye through the pores present in the cell wall, membrane. Lugol solution or Lugol's iodine is a brown solution that turns black in the presence of starches and can be used as a cell stain, making the cell nuclei more visible. Used with common vinegar, acetic acid, Lugol's solution is used to identify precancerous and cancerous changes in cervical and vaginal tissues during pap smear follow-up examinations in preparation for biopsy. The acetic acid causes the abnormal cells to blanch white, while the normal tissues stain a mahogany brown from the iodine. Topic: Malachite green. Malachite green, also known as diamond green B or Victoria green B, can be used as a blue-green counterstain to safranin in the Jimenez staining technique for bacteria. It can also be used to directly stain spores. Topic: <laughs> Methyl green. Methyl green is used commonly with bright field, as well as fluorescence microscopes to dye the chromatin of cells so that they are more easily viewed. Topic. Methylene blue Methylene blue is used to stain animal cells, such as human cheek cells, to make their nuclei more observable. 
also used to stain the blood film and used in cytology. Topic: <laughs> Neutral red. Neutral red or toluene red stains nissel substance red. It is usually used as a counterstain in combination with other dyes. Topic: <laughs> Nile blue. Nile blue or Nile blue A stains nuclei blue. It may be used with living cells. Topic: <inaudible> Nile red. Nile red, also known as Nile blue oxazone, is formed by boiling Nile blue with sulfuric acid. This produces a mix of Nile red and Nile blue. Nile red is a lipophilic stain, it will accumulate in lipid globules inside cells, staining them red. Nile red can be used with living cells. It fluoresces strongly when partitioned into lipids, but practically not at all in aqueous solution. Topic. Osmium tetroxide Formal name, osmium tetroxide Osmium tetroxide is used in optical microscopy to stain lipids. It dissolves in fats, and is reduced by organic materials to elemental osmium, an easily visible black substance. Topic. Propidium iodide Propidium iodide is a fluorescent intercalating agent that can be used to stain cells. Propidium iodide is used as a DNA stain in flow cytometry to evaluate cell viability or DNA content in cell cycle analysis, or in microscopy to visualize the nucleus and other DNA containing organelles. Propidium iodide cannot cross the membrane of live cells, making it useful to differentiate necrotic, apoptotic and healthy cells. Pi also binds to RNA, necessitating treatment with nucleases to distinguish between RNA and DNA staining. Topic: Rhodamine. Rhodamine is a protein-specific fluorescent stain commonly used in fluorescence microscopy. Topic: Safranine. Safranine, or safranine o, is a red cationic dye. It binds to nuclei DNA, and other tissue polyanions, including glycosaminoglycans in cartilage and mast cells, and components of lignin and plastids in plant tissues. Safranine should not be confused with saffron, an expensive natural dye that is used in some methods to impart a yellow color to collagen, to contrast with blue and red colors imparted by other dyes to nuclei and cytoplasm in animal including human, tissues. The incorrect spelling, safranin, is in common use. The INE ending is appropriate for safranine O because this dye is an amine. Topic. Stainability of tissues Tissues which take up stains are called chromatic. Chromosomes were so named because of their ability to absorb a violet stain. Positive affinity for a specific stain may be designated by the suffix philic. For example, tissues that stain with an azure stain may be referred to as azorophilic. This may also be used for more generalized staining properties, such as acidophilic for tissues that stain by acidic stains most notably eosin, basophilic when staining in basic dyes, and amphiphilic when staining with either acid or basic dyes. In contrast, chromophobic tissues do not take up colored dye readily. Topic. Electron microscopy. As in light microscopy, stains can be used to enhance contrast in transmission electron microscopy. Electron-dense compounds of heavy metals are typically used. Topic. Phosphotungstic acid 
Phosphotungstic acid is a common negative stain for viruses, nerves, polysaccharides, and other biological tissue materials. Topic. Osmium tetroxide Osmium tetroxide is used in optical microscopy to stain lipids. It dissolves in fats, and is reduced by organic materials to elemental osmium, an easily visible black substance. Because it is a heavy metal that absorbs electrons, it is perhaps the most common stain used for morphology in biological electron microscopy. It is also used for the staining of various polymers for the study of their morphology by TEM. OSO4 is very volatile and extremely toxic. It is a strong oxidizing agent as the osmium has an oxidation number of plus 8. It aggressively oxidizes many materials, leaving behind a deposit of non-volatile osmium in a lower oxidation state. Topic. Ruthenium tetroxide Ruthenium tetroxide is equally volatile and even more aggressive than osmium tetroxide and able to stain even materials that resist the osmium stain, e.g. polyethylene. Other chemicals used in electron microscopy staining include Ammonium molybdate, cadmium iodide, carbohydrazide, ferric chloride, hexamine, indium trichloride, lanthanum nitrate, lead acetate, lead citrate, lead, 2, nitrate, periodic acid, phosphomolybdic acid, potassium ferrocyanide, potassium ferrocyanide, ruthenium red, silver nitrate, silver proteinate, sodium chloroorate, thallium nitrate, thiosomicarbazide, uranyl acetate, uranyl nitrate, and vanadyl sulfate. See also Cytology, the study of cells Histology, the study of tissues Immunohistochemistry, the use of antisera to label specific antigens Ruthenium tris bathophenanthraline disulfonate, a protein dye Vital stain, stains that do not kill cells Page, separation of protein molecules Barium enema, a type of in vivo stain that creates contrast in the X-ray part of the light spectrum. <laughs>